Hey everyone, it's Kai from WCC, and today we're going to look at a new way to play Vanguard. It is the uh, character fight against Ibuki and Greon level 1. So what this is, is that if you want to just play with yourself, you, your internet is bad, so you can't play uh, Vanguard online or remotely, uh, you can play against Ibuki and Greon in your mind. Well, you can just take out your deck and just play against this. It's kind of like the WoW TCG raids. Where you played against like kind of like an automated opponents, but that was before WoW became Hearthstone. So yeah, it's similar to that. Uh, you, you're facing a big boss that has a bunch of cool effects, but it's still similar to the original Vanguard idea. So one big change is that your opponent's Vanguard will have the uh, these two new effects. Is that when they take damage, uh, they get plus 10k power until the end of turn, and then when they attack, they will roll dice equal to your opponent's into equal to your grade, pretty much, and then they will apply the result according to this little Ibuki and Greon table. Um, what this means is that when they attack you, every time they attack, they will roll a dice. If they're if you're grade three, they will roll three dice, and that means three attacks. So it's kind of simulating like attacks, I guess, in the normal game. Except now they're all Vanguard attacks, so they're pretty crazy. And do note that if you go to grade four, they will have four Vanguard attacks, and that gets pretty, pretty crazy. Now, the, yeah, the big change here, as you might have realized, is there's, there is dice rolls involved to determine things, if they're hitting or not, or if they're getting strong effects. So, otherwise, other than that, the rest of it is pretty similar to just normal Vanguard, but we'll just go through the rest of this spreadsheet and talk about some interesting tidbits. So, uh, turn how the turn resolves is... On your turn, you have a stand phase, draw phase, write and call, all very normal. Only does it change when you go to the attack phase. You attack, then you have to roll the dice to determine if you hit or not. So, to, to hit your opponent, you have to roll certain numbers, and they're determined also by the power difference between your Vanguard and Ibuki and Greyon. So, you still need more power to hit them, but if the power difference is 5,000 or lower, you need to roll a 1 or 3 to hit your opponent. If you if the power difference is 6k to 24k, then it's 135. And then if it's 25k or higher, it is 134 or 5. Now after you roll the hit, then you do a drive check if you're attacking with your Vanguard. Now, what this means though is that let's say your Vanguard is 10k, you became ground at 8k because you're at grade one. Uh you you roll like a five, yeah? So that's not hitting. But on your drive check, if you trigger, you trigger like a crit then you go from 10k to 20k and that falls into this 6 to 24k uh, column or row and then you roll the 5 so that means you hit so now after the drive check you hit so you deal uh, ebk and ground 2 damage and they get 20k power for damage shielding uh, so that's just how it works after you do all your attacks then you your turn ends and it goes to the character's turn so here we have the character turn with your, your Ibuki and Greon go up plus one grade. So at the beginning of the game, they'll be grade zero. Uh, then, so when this starts, they'll go to grade one and they'll be at 8k power. And then this this happens all the way up to grade three. They can't actually go to grade four. So they'll just stick at grade three. And then they go to the gift count plus one. So if they're at grade three, then they get a gift. So on the turn they ride grade three, they'll pretty much be 23k on that turn to attack you. And then now the difference here is at the attack phase again. So Every single attack that they do, you have to guard first, because it they, they basically get three vanguard attacks. So you guard first, you determine how much you want to guard, and then they will do a roll to determine what kind of attack they will do. So this is the table of rolls. Uh, on a roll of one, you will bind your front row regard face down, and then they'll get 10k power. On a two, you will bind your front row left regard face down, and then it'll get 10k power. If you don't have a regard on that circle, then that's good for you, you don't have to bite anything, they still get the 10k power, they still attack you. On a 3, they'll just attack you, so that's probably the best result out of the d6 that you can roll. On a 4, they will get 10k power and a critical for the turn and attack you, and that's kind of like 4 is like, unlucky number in, in Asia, so kind of makes sense, it's like, means death. So, yeah, that, that's means you're, you're dying. Uh, do note that also these power gains and critical gains last for their entire turn, so if they're doing 3 attacks, they trigger four, they roll a four at the beginning, they're getting 10k power and a, and a critical for the rest of their attacks. 
On a 5, you ch you choose a back row Rearguard and bind it, and then they get 20k for the turn and attack the Vanguard. And on a 6, they will actually delete the Vanguard and attack you. So, let's say you've gotten a trigger on their first attack, then they delete you, you go back down to 0. So that's an odd attack delete, that's pretty, it's pretty disgusting. There's a reason why we don't have that in normal Vanguard, but since you're playing against yourself, no excuses for you, you just have to suck it up and eat a bunch of damage. After they do the amount of the attacks that they're supposed to do, then the character turn ends and it goes back to your turn, and you can do your stand, draw, and ride phase. So, overall, pretty simple. Uh, do note that when you start the game, you both are at grade 0, but players always start first, so you'll go to grade 1 and you can't attack, and then they will go to grade 1 and they can't attack you. With, with this gift count and forces, just a reminder of how the gifts work. You know, your vanguard power, and then you have gifts, and then they plus 10k for each gift. So yeah, that, that's just basically how it, Otherwise, it's similar to normal vanguard. You lose if you hit 6 damage. You win if you hit 6 damage to your opponent. Overall, it is pretty, uh, pretty simple. Um, we have some example games. I did play two games, and I'll, I'll put them at the end of this video on how to play it. But yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. I... Maybe if this is popular, they will release other ways to, to or other characters that you can play against. Uh, one thing that stands out is that Excel sounds pretty crappy in this format because they get damage shielding and you're just rolling a bunch of 1 to 3s to hit. It's like, yeah, it feels bad. And then Force seems pretty good. Things that can one-shot your opponent is pretty good. Um, yeah, so overall it seems pretty interesting. Um, I did play some games, so I'll show them off right now. Okay, so we're gonna try some character fight right now. Uh, we're gonna play against Ibuki, and we have, um, we're using Broken Bermuda. So that should be pretty good. Um, we will represent Ibuki's damage by this, these six cards. They're all triggers, because you get damage shield. But since we start first, let's begin. All right, so we'll draw, draw X cards. Um, looks pretty jank. Uh, yeah, okay, so it looks like we're great stock. Let's put some cards back, and then three. Yeah, so we're really great stuck. We just drew two more heals again. Looks like I'm dead, but oh well. That's life. Okay, so player starts. Let's draw. Uh, that's not what I wanted. A ride. Draw from the Riviera starter, then draw from Aurora. Oh my God. This is absolutely horrible. Discard a card and pass. So now it's Ibuki's turn. He goes to grade one, uh, naturally. And then he will now do an attack. So he attacks me. I have to choose to guard now. So I have to guard first. Um, maybe it's better to guard now. I'm not sure. Because he gets some pretty crazy effects. But it's only one attack. Ah, let's just no guard this. No guard. Okay, so let's roll a dice. This is a six. This is a 6, the crit, we've got the old Springfest die, so what happens? So roll a 2. 2 means he binds my left regard face down, I don't have anything, and it gets 10k. So I take a damage, I take a damage, and it's a Steza. Alright, not bad, not bad. So my turn, I draw, uh, I G assist. <laughs> um, yeah, that sucks. I uh, get a melody, cool. Wow. Uh, feels so bad, dude. This feels awful. Maybe I should stay great stuck. Maybe that's the correct play. Because then he only gets one attack off on me. So... Um... Yeah. Let's bind this guy. And we'll remove RFGDs too. And ride my... Sonata. So I'm going to attack. Now since my Vanguard attack, I have to roll to hit. Okay, so... See if I hit, my opponent is AK, I am 15, because of Sonata's effect. And uh, so the difference is 6 to 24, I rolled a 3, so 1, 3, 5 hits, so this is hitting. I do my drive check, no crit, so he takes a damage now. So let's put the damage here. Um, can, you, can you see, no you can't see it, so put 1 damage. That is how much Ibuki is on, he's on 1 damage. Alright, so now it's, now it's Ibuki's turn. He is going to do some shenanigans. So he rides up to grade 2, he's 10k. And now he's going to do two attacks. So I have to choose to guard. Let's guard one of them. Let's guard the first one. 15k guard, I'm 25. So he has to roll. Um, 
a 5 to get the 20k. Or he can actually roll a 6. He rolls a 6, I, I get deleted. So I get a 0. Um, that's okay. No, if he rolls a 6, it's okay. Wow, on attack delete? That's pretty broken. So let's, let's see what I roll. Are you serious? He rolls a 5, I take a damage. So Vanguard gets 20k. I get a heal though. Um, so that's, that's nice. But now his Vanguard is 30k, and he gets another attack because I'm at grade 2. So let's roll the dice again. Rolls a 3, so that's fine. Only 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 a damage. Um, doesn't get the crit. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Alright, now my turn. Draw. Um, okay, I got some Sonatas. I can ride. So I want to... I feel like I want to go Force 2, because I can get super fat. But then again, I'm not sure how I'm, I'm not sure how important power is. So uh, let me let me see. Let me see. Where are my force markers? Okay, so we'll go force two. Got my force markers. Put it on the vanguard because I think that's probably going to hit the most. And then we'll I guess we can use Sonata's effect. Let's see what we got. So counter blast one, soul blast one. Let's try and get a melody. A good one. Oh, that's, that's not bad. So there's like damage shielding. So this is similar to um, Vanguard Zero. How do we do it? How do we do it? Do I want to call it here? Or do I want to keep it? 23. Gotta do math. So 23, 23. Um, Ibuki is at 2. So after 2 attacks, but my middle has a crit. But it might not hit. It might not hit. Okay. That's all right. We'll play a bit more conservatively here. So let's start doing our attack. So I think I'll go rear guard first. Uh, let's see if it hits. This is 23. So it needs one, three, or five to hit. So it's a pretty good roll. Pretty good roll. Uh, it takes damage. So he's at two damage now. Now he gets 10k shield. So he's at 23. I mean 20k. So now let's do a vanguard attack. So this is going to be... 23 plus 8, so 31. So it needs that 135 again. Let's do the roll to hit. Uh, it's a 6. So this is never going to hit. I'm going to do my drive checks. First check, second check, nothing. And then at the end of turn, well, at the end of battle, let's do an effect. Let's do our Steza. Just Let's just pop it and draw a card. And that's that. So Ibuki's at 2. I'm at 2. But now Ibuki's going to go up. He gets a force marker as well, so he's 23k. Now he's gonna do three attacks at me. Um, so first attack, let's, let's see what happens. He rolls a three, so this is just one damage. It's nice. Now second attack, do I want to guard this? Uh, yeah, let's just no guard it. Whatever. He rolled a one. So that is, he binds my front row right rear guard face down and gets 10k. So now he's 33 for the turn. I guess I'll take it. I get a trigger. That's cool. I'm at 23, but he's at 33 now. So last attack. Do I want to risk it? Um, 33. Hmm. Yeah, let's no guard it. Screw it. Needs to get. He gets a 4. So he got the crit. Wow. Okay, so one damage, bam, 10k. So I lose. I lose. That was, that was not fun. Okay. <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Uh, hopefully I don't get grade stuck this time. Can't believe he hit the four. It's like a one in six to kill me. All right, so let's start again. Um, see what I get. Hopefully I get a grade two this time. I don't. But I get a grade 4. I can like one shot with my grade 4. But then he could do attack 4 times on my grade 4. Yeah, let's risk it. Whatever. Let's go for 2. Yeah. Get my grade 2. I get another grade 4. Oh, that's not that good. I guess if he deletes me, then I at least can re-ride. We're going to one shot Ibuki out of existence. Okay. So, alright. Now that we know how the game is played... Let's try it again. So again, I start first. Draw. Uh, 
ride my Steza, draw a card, draw a crit, right, that's it. So now Ibuki's turn, he, he's at 8k now, he attacks me for, does one attack. Um, I think it's perfect time to just 15k it, and just hope he doesn't get a 5. 1, All right, that's perfect, he becomes 18, but I'm 23, so I'm, stays at 0. Draw, 2, ride my grade 2. So, Sonata, 15k to 8. I need a 1 or 3. 5? 1, 3, 5? That's correct to, to hit. Hit a 1, so I'm definitely hitting. Trigger, crit. Alright, 2 damage to the Vanguard. That's pretty good. I don't have any more attacks, so this damage shielding doesn't matter. So he goes to 2 damage. Ibuki's at 2 damage. Alright, now Ibuki's turn. He's at 10k now. He gets two attacks, so first attack, let's do it again, uh, 15k to guard, gets a two, he becomes, he's now 20k, so I will probably take the next attack and hope he doesn't get a five for the crit, I mean a four, so he gets a three, it just attacks the vanguard, doesn't get any power, so I technically could have guarded that, but that's fine, I'm at one, pretty good, now let's go to draw, so... I can kind of do something here. I can play my Sonata. Let's go Force 2. I just really want to one-shot Ibuki out of existence. Um, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1. Let's do Sonata's effect. Get another Sonata. That's pretty good. So, both hitting 23. Uh... So I have a Caro in my hand. I think I want to keep it for maybe next turn. I'm going to ride up. So let's just do it like this. Let's do, let's do Regard first. 23, 2 is 10. I uh, need a 1, 3, or 5. 5, good. Deals the damage. He goes to 20. And then now my 23 goes in to his Vanguard. I need a 1 or a 3 to hit. Because now he's 20, I'm 23. A 5k difference. Let's see if I hit now. But I still have drive checks, so I don't hit. But if I get a drive check, if I get a trigger, I go through. So first check, nothing. Second check, nothing. Unlucky. Alright. That's fine. Alright, Ibuki's turn. He rides up to grade 3. He also gets a force marker now. So put his force count up. He has one force marker. So he's swinging 23 now. Three attacks. Let's see what happens. First attack. Uh, do I want to guard this? Hmm. No, I don't want to guard it. Let's see what happens. Gets a 4. Wow. So he's hitting 33 of a crit? At least. I take 2 damage. 1. 2. So I get a trigger. Uh, I'm at 23 now. But now he's he has 2 more attacks. So do I want to go to the next one? Hmm. Feels so bad, dude. 23 versus 33. Um... It's 1, so now 43 and uh, 43, it's only 48, that means he needs to get a 5, so yeah, 48, he needs a 5 to break through, are you serious, okay, I take 2 more damage, and then his last attack, I'm just gonna null, screw it. Gets a 3, so nothing. Alright, that's cool. My turn. I guess I kind of have to kill him now or I'm dead. Like, uh... <laughs> pretty dead. I'm at 5. So, draw. I'm gonna ride my Eve. Get another Force Marker. Where? Here it is. Let's put it here. And now let's start using Eve's effect. So, check top deck. That's cool. Call. Uh, check top deck. It's pretty good, too. Let's call that. Check top deck. That's cool. And then, check top deck. That's cool as well. And then, check top deck. That's perfect. So, let's line it up. Now, all my melody units have boost. So... Yeah, let's hope we win. So, Eve attacks Vanguard, boosted by uh, Fina. Mm. 
So this is 24, then plus uh, two Sonatas. That makes it 34. And then the Karu gives it 5k. It's 39 with a boost. So yeah, 39. That is versus a 13. So I need a 1, 3, 4, 5 to hit. So hope I roll one of those. Okay, that sucks. So it doesn't hit. Trigger crit, all effects here to uh, Sonata. Uh, and then next one is nothing. So now my Sonata goes for the attack. This thing is hitting for massive. It is 26, uh, 36, 46, 46, 51, 56 from this as well. And then a 20k, so 76 with a crit. So, yeah, I need a 1, 3, 4, or 5 to win. Alright, cool. So he takes 4 damage, and uh, I win. So yeah, that's how you do it, guys. Just one shot Ibuki out of the game. Now, I guess you can do some edits to it. I mean, it's a single-player game. You can do whatever you want. Make it easier, make it harder. You can incorporate strides, maybe. Uh, also, uh, yeah... It's pretty much it. Do anything you want. Um, well, one thing is to make it easy, you could probably run deleters and then delete your delete Ibuki. So uh, he can't play the game because he loses all effects. Doesn't get damage shielding. Uh, doesn't get uh, doesn't get to do any dice rolls if you want to play it like that. I guess that's pretty lame though. So maybe at least still give him those two effects. Uh, but if you just really want to play with yourself and not let yourself play with yourself, I guess you can just play. Uh, gray on play deleters and delete them uh, and then I guess other things like other one-shot decks seem pretty pretty good like Messianic you could probably just one-shot if you can just hope you hit and pr pretty I, I guess it, it's up to you how you want to play I guess one, one thing is don't play Narukami because yeah this is like a stealth nerf to Narukami how are you gonna you can't buy anything so you're never gonna get your power off and uh, yeah it just feels awful. I guess Excel Excel decks in general feel pretty awful, like Excel 2. They don't hit any good power lines. You're basically hoping you roll a 1 and 3. So yeah, maybe this is another stealth nerf to Excel 2. Uh, 4 seems pretty good. Uh, Protect seems okay as well, but I don't think you hit high enough to matter. And based on how many, like, the attacks from Ibuki and Greyon uh, just seem pretty damn strong. And you're probably just going to run out of cards guarding. So, is it... Fun, fun way to pass the time. Reminds me of the old uh, raids in the old Warcraft games, Warcraft TCG before it became Hearthstone, where you had yeah, you just had one guy versus X, or you could have like an automated raid boss. It's kind of similar to that. We can probably incorporate that kind of style to playing this. Um, so yeah, overall, kind of fun way to pass your time. Let us know in your comments how you went, if you were able to uh to to beat Ibuki. And uh, who you'd like to see next? Who'd want to fight next? All right, with some unique rules. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, bye.